Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video we're going to be benchmarking Unreal Tournament, the latest version that's made on Unreal Engine 4. So this is the Windows version and the Linux version. The couple things to note first that this is a pre-alpha version of the game, it's not the final state of the game. Now there's two modes that we can run the game in on Linux, that is OpenGL 3.2, which is the default, and then one more mode, which is OpenGL 4.3. Now we'll be testing both of these. So I'm running the NVIDIA 355.11 drivers on Ubuntu and 355.82 drivers on Windows. Now let's go ahead and see the results. Jumping right in, we're going with the OpenGL 3.2 first up at 1080p minimum settings. We are seeing on average about 59 frames per second difference on average. The important thing here to notice is that the minimum difference is pretty large. When we max everything out at 1080p, we are seeing only about a 28 frames per second difference on average. But once again, looking at the minimum, we're seeing a very large difference here. And that does matter because it will affect the gaming experience overall. Pushing it to the latest OpenGL that it can support at 4.3. Low settings, uh, minimum settings at 1080p, we're seeing on average 92 frames per second difference. So there is a regression using OpenGL 4 on minimum settings. However, when we max everything out 1080p, we are only once again seeing 27 frames per second difference on average. So for whatever reason, maxing everything out doesn't have an issue on OpenGL 4.3, but when we're on minimum, it does. So the side-by-side -side comparison here, we have Ubuntu 15.04 on the left and Windows 10 on the right. Ubuntu 15.04 here is running the default configuration, which is OpenGL 3.2. And on the right side, we are running the Direct 3D 11 uh, default experience again. What you're going to notice here is that at the beginning the frame rates are pretty okay and very evenly matched with only about a 10 to 20 frames per second difference at any given time but now once we move into the match further along something is getting leaked and not cleaned up here on the Linux side you can see it drop quite significantly we are more than halfway down the frame rates compared to what we're getting on the Windows version of the game and you'll also notice issues with the textures which don't appear in the Windows version of the game despite both of these builds being released at the same time on the same version of Unreal that the guys are using. So these are some serious issues that we see here with the pre-alpha version. Summary time! Alright so one thing we do have to get out of the way is why am I benchmarking a pre-alpha game? Now the, during the development of the game is the best time to do benchmarking and finding out where bugs, regressions, glitches and performance issues happen. So that's why we're doing this on top of the requests. So in the OpenGL 3.2 versus Direct 3D 11 segment of the test, we saw a 35 to 37% difference on average. When we bump things up to OpenGL 4.3, on low settings we were seeing a 58% difference on average which was a bad thing. So overall, these tests showcase that the Windows side is getting more frames over time, showcasing that the Unreal guys are really putting a lot of their focus more into the Windows side of things. So looking into the issues, we're seeing that performance drops over time. When we first started out the time, the comparison side by side, we saw that the performance was very nearly identical to Direct 3D 11. Then we saw it somewhere down the line plateau and get stuck at 30 or below frames per second. And I think that this has to do with a texture issue. Something is not being cleared out or cleaned out and is constantly getting counted per frame causing this performance drop. Lighting is not the same. For whatever reason, there are moments in the scene where you see there's lighting on the Windows version of the game and there's no lighting on the Linux side and I don't know why this is. Alt tabbing out of the game and back in also causes mouse cursor issues where the mouse cursor completely goes off course. You have to completely restart, restart the game, exit and start the game again for it to work again. I can't retain resolution changes. That's why we don't have a 720p test this time around. Only on the Linux version of the game I can't change the resolution. It always goes back to 1080p. Extremely frustrating. No matter what I do, I can't get it to go to a lower frame, uh, a lower resolution. Graphical settings don't stick between instances. So let's say I change everything to epic, exit the game, re-enter the game again, everything is gone. In fact, I don't even know what settings it's on when it first starts. It's not low, it's not high, it's just missing a whole bunch of textures and a whole lot of bugginess all over around. This doesn't happen once again on the Windows side of the game, which is a pretty big issue. So many missing textures, especially if you bump it up to the OpenGL 4 version, character models are missing textures. Parts of the map may miss textures. Your gun models miss textures. What's happening? 
So what can we take away from this test right now? The current version of Unreal Tournament is very well done on the Windows port, but it looks like the Unreal guys are really sloppy on the Linux port of the game so far. The OpenGL renderer definitely needs fixing and it needs proper maintenance. It can and very likely possible to go above and beyond what Direct3D 11 is offering, but for whatever reason, the Unreal guys are going forward with Direct3D 11 seriously and looks like OpenGL support is on the back burner. Maybe, maybe it's on the back burner because they're going to be focusing on Vulkan in the future. I'm not sure. That said, it was very hard to get this game running. I couldn't find any proper documentation anywhere. I had to scour through forums to figure out how to start the game on Linux. While on the Windows and Mac side, you pretty much just open the Linux Epic Games app and then click launch and you're in. So it's pretty depressing that we're being put aside like this. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you got something useful from this video. I hope I didn't make too many mistakes. Let me know if I did in the comments below and I welcome your constructive criticism. And thank you for watching.